So here's a map of Farron. It's um, a fairly large image. It's uh, 4736 by 3185. Um, you can zoom into it fairly well. And this is a local, no big deal. But if we go over here, let me just bring up um, OpenStreetMap. Um, the interesting part about this is you can zoom in and out, and it's basically a tile server, just like Google Maps is. It's one that you can actually edit yourself. Very cool. Um, but it's all based on vector graphics, and the farther you zoom in, the better resolution you get. So I'm thinking, well, why can't I make my own tiles? So I took the map of Farron and got Silverlight out using the Bing Map tool. I made a custom class that points to my server and the tiles that I created, and I end up with something like this. It's just like Google Maps or Bing Maps. You can zoom in a little bit. And going into Waterdeep, every time you zoom in, it gets a little better. Where's that key at? Here's the fairing key. And this is actually very simple to put together. Um, basically, I uh, took that um, one big large image and chopped it into 256 uh, by 256 tiles. So here's the very top level. As you can tell, it's not very good resolution, but it's 256 by 256. Uh, we'll go to zoom level one, and it's a little better. And we'll go to zoom level four, and the structure of this is exactly like the structure in OpenStreetMaps. We'll go grab this one. This is the highest one. Now, um, the Earth tiles have a zoom of zero to eighteen, I believe, is the highest zoom it goes. Since I had kind of a lower resolution map to start with, I only have a zoom of four. Um, no big deal. Now, my thought is, why can't I um, draw polygons over the top of this and create a vector-based map, kind of like OpenStreetMap has? So I'm going to do a little bit of research. Um, maybe take a week or two and find out if that's really possible. Uh, I'm thinking that um, taking a program like Map Tools, which is what you use to um, create maps for uh, like Dungeons and Dragons games or any kind of fantasy type of role playing game, um, RP Tools makes it. Um, if you want to see um, what it looks like. Um, you know, here's a general overview of what it looks like. And I'll let you watch that on your own. But it allows you to move tokens around on a map. And if you made a GIS system out of that, um, it would allow you to zoom in and out very seamlessly. And it would also take care of the visible line blocking problem. And I discussed that on my um, blog. AaronBlog.us, and I talk about some of the um, bonuses that this type of technology might bring to Map Tools 1.4. Um, I still need to do some prototyping and testing to see if this is even worthwhile to recommend to the Map Tool team, but um, I think it looks pretty promising so far.